Hey guys, welcome back to another Xcode 4 tutorial where we're going to learn a little bit about the segmented controller. And so as you can see on the screen, I've got a little riddle, you know, Tom's mother has three kids. The first is named April, the second is named May. What is the third kid's name? Well, obviously it's going to be June. Well, no, no, nice try, monkey. No, maybe July. May, may, maybe think about it a little bit more. So, uh, okay, well, that's not the actual answers to the riddle, obviously. So, I'll tell you at the end, if, you know, if you don't get it already, if you haven't already got it. So, basically, we've got a, almost like a quiz app going here. We've got maybe something that we can have answers, and then we can show the answers or show the results, something like that. So, that's what uh, we've kind of mocked up for this, uh, for this segmented controller here in the middle. So, let's jump into how to do it. So we're going to create a new template or a new project and we're just going to go with the single view application template. We're going to give this one a name of segmented controller and uh, we're going to specify this for the iPhone, it could be for the iPad as well and then we're going to make sure that all three of these are checked as far as the storyboard and the arc and we're going to click next, save it wherever you'd like and once you get into your project the first thing that we're going to do is go to the main storyboard um, and check out the view controller. We're actually going to start configuring how we want this view controller and the first thing that we're going to do is click your view controller, go over to the attributes, we're going to change the background color to the my bring back color and then we're going to go down to the objects and we're going to put our objects that we saw or we'd like to use on the screen. So the first one being the label, we can stick that uh, down at the bottom, the segmented control, stick that kind of towards the middle and then we're going to go down and find the text view, which we'll throw uh, again kind of where the simulator showed. So in this case, case, if you double click the text view, I'm just going to paste in our riddle so I don't have to type the whole thing. You guys can put whatever you'd like in there, honestly. The, uh, the second thing that we're going to do is go down to the segmented controller. And as you can see, we had June and July as the only two segments that you could do in this case. So if you double click the first one, you'll see that we can now edit the title of the first segment. And the second one, we can actually go over here to the attributes just to show you a different way to do it and select the index of your segment. And you'll see that the title is, is named uh, seconds. We're going to change this actually to July. And it basically does the same thing as double clicking the segmented controller. The other thing with uh, the segmented controllers is a few options within the attributes that I would just want to note to you guys. Um, you can change the style, there's a bezel look, there's a bar look, um, you know, whatever you guys are feeling like in that case, the style is up to you guys. Um, the second option is going to be your state, and the state when this is selected is going to give it a momentary state where basically if they were to click the, uh, the segmented control, it's not going to stay, it's not going to stay selected or highlighted. It's just going to send a response or an action depending on how you have it, have it hooked up. In our case we're not going to use the momentary feature state um, for this uh, tutorial. The other thing is you can increase or decrease the amount of segments. So as you can see the more uh, the more segments you can have um, and this is endless depending on you know obviously the space of the screen and, and the look and feel of it. Um, so we're going to bring this back to two for our uh, tutorial here. The last thing that I want to show you is the selected feature. So as you can see is right now um, it basically looks our uh, our segmented controller you can see is, is two tones. One side selected and the other side is not. Um, we want to take that off for our case because basically the user is going to read the riddle and then click one of the two segments for the answer or the result of the riddle. So we don't want anything selected when they first load the application. So we're going to take this off and as you can see both are the same color now which uh, basically shows the user that nothing's selected at the moment. Alright so that's kind of the uh, the attributes of the segmented controller. Um, we're going to go through now how to hook it up to our viewcontroller.h and then put the code behind the uh, behind the program or the application so we can run it. So what we're going to do now is go up to the editor and go to the assistant um, right in the middle here. Go ahead and click that and you'll see that it will load. Um, 
our assistant editor up next to us and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these two as outlets and then we're gonna also also double hook up our uh, segmented controllers in action as well so we'll just hold control click and drag over to view controller dot h and uh, we want an outlet we want the type to be a segmented controller and we're gonna give this a name as segment go ahead and connect that outlet then we're gonna go down to the label do the same thing hold control click and drag over and place that right below the segment outlet that we just created and we're gonna we're gonna create a new object of uh, UI label and that's gonna be our outlet we're just gonna name it label in this case and go ahead and connect that and the last thing that we're gonna do is connect our segmented controller as an action so when it's pressed that's what we tell the uh, that's when we tell the label to change to something else and so on and so forth so the connection type in this case is our action and the name we're just gonna call this uh, answer because we're gonna display the answer or result or something like that make sure the event is value changed because as they click June or July we want that value to change based on the label that we're gonna send and go ahead and connect that uh, as well once you've got that in order we're gonna go back to the standalone and uh, you know actually we're gonna finish this up in the next uh, in the next video series because we're running out of time here so um, hopefully that gives you a good start if you do have any questions on this tutorial you know let us know if, uh, if you can't figure out one of those the components and we'll try to help you out so uh, we'll catch you in the next tutorial be good